of all, um, I'm really appreciate you know uh, that uh, Ubisoft uh, called me to be an ambassador uh, because we're making history as the first uh, uh, World Cup uh, for the game for Rainbow Six, and so uh, it's just a, an honor for me, you know, to be part of uh, this great event and uh, and share my experiences. Obviously, uh, I will share with all the players. I will have time to to meet them and and talk with them and have conversation and basically uh, try to make uh, the best uh, the best World Cup uh, we can. That we're making history to be part of that process and, and to. Uh, build, you know, something uh, new. Uh, I think that they're going to have a lot of fun. I think they're going to um, be, um, like I said, it's, it's different. You know, you're going to play with different players, different coaches, but from your own country. And when you play with your team, you know, they play against each other, but now they're going to play together, you know, as one and playing for their country. And so for me, that's that's special. And so hopefully they'll, they'll take as, as much fun as I took, you know, when I play for my country. Who would be on my team if I had to start a team? Um, I have to find some gamers. Uh, Rudy Gobert, you know, he plays a lot, so I'll definitely put him on my team. Uh, Vincent Poirier, who plays for the Boston Celtics. Um, Frank Antilikina from the Knicks, he plays a lot too. Um, Evan Fournier from Orlando, I'm going a French team. Huh? <laughs> and then uh, Nicolas Batum. I've always uh, been fascinated by that world. I've been playing video games since I'm a kid, you know, play with my brothers, you know, all the time. And so I always liked that world. And so uh, growing up, I always followed, you know, uh, uh, the esport world and, uh, and the way that it's growing is uh, very impressive. And I feel like people is being aware more and more now. And, uh, and I think we only at the beginning, I think it's going to keep going. Uh, teamwork, teamwork, communication. Um, a lot of people, they always ask me, why are you so involved in eSport? Uh, do you think it's really a sport? And for me, uh, yes, totally. It's totally a sport uh, because it's competitive, uh, it's challenging, and uh, you have to work as a team depending, you know, on the games. And uh, it's a lot uh, a lot similar to, to my sport, you know, as basketball, where you have to communicate, you have to help your teammates and, and uh, reach your goal. And so it's the same thing in eSport. But for me personally, it was always um, great, you know, to play with the national team. I always say that I had two families. I had my Spurs family during the year, and I had my national team family during the summer, and, and I had such a great relationship, you know, uh, with my teammates because we've been playing together since we we're 14 years old. That it was just uh, um, for me normal, you know, to play for your country. It's one thing to play for a city, but to play for your country, it takes a whole new level and so when I was 18 years old we won the, the European Championship and I always told myself I wanted to bring the first European Championship, the first gold medal for French basketball history and so that was my focus and my motivation every year. Um, obviously it was amazing to win you know for the city of San Antonio uh, but playing for your country for me it takes a whole new level because it's is where I'm from, that's where I grew up, and you're fighting you know, for, your, for your country, it's a lot of proud into it. And so for me, um, it was like a, a, just another level. Uh, but for me, it's easy because you play for your country. So you put everything aside, uh, what happened with teams, because now we all speak the same language, we all want to fight for our country, and a lot of motivation and proud come into playing for your country. I will spend a lot of time with them. You know, communication is very important. Um, when you have new players coming in, you have to make them buy into the, the project, the goal, the vision. For me, you have to make the effort to make sure that everybody is in the same level. Everybody is important. Everybody has a, whole, a role. You know, when you're, when you're a team and you have to reach a goal together, everybody is important. Uh, my favorite memory is uh, when we won the gold medal because it was the first title in the history of basketball, French basketball. Um, we had a big nemesis, you know, Spain, and we had a hard time, you know, to beat them. You know, every year we lost against them, and so it gave us like more motivation to keep getting better and, and finally get over that hump. And so in 2013, when we finally beat them in the semifinals, uh, I knew that we were going to win the whole thing. 
I think preparation is very important. The more you prepare, the better you're going to be when the when the competition is going to come. And so uh, that's why we do those preparations to make sure that you know you train enough and you know what you have to do. And uh, and like that, when it's game time, it feels it feels easy and everything is slow. Um, when when you don't prepare well, but then it's going to, you're going to be in trouble because if things going to go fast, then you're going to be you're going to be uh, yeah, in trouble big time. So I think preparation is key. I've always been very prepared and everything that I did, especially for like big competition. And so in eSport is the same thing, you have to train. Uh, just be yourself. You know, uh, I was the type of player, I never put too much uh, pressure on myself. Like the outside pressure, uh, you just have to go with your own expectation and what you want to do with your own career and block out the rest. You know, you just have to satisfy your own expectation. enjoy enjoy the moment enjoy every moment keep dreaming you know when you dream big a lot of stuff can happen <laughs>